residents, and this is why we're so proud of them. The Boston International Comedy Festival that happened just uh, two weeks ago, literally 3,000 entries. By the time they go through all the finals and everything, one of the five finalists, ladies and gentlemen, we're so proud of Mr. Will Smalley. Uh, here's the deal right off the bat. Uh, I am what the scientists call a homosexual. <laughs> Not going to work through, don't worry. I, uh, I tell you this up front only because sometimes people don't believe me. Not in this cardigan, but it happens. Um, <laughs> I did a show recently where this woman comes up to me after and she goes, uh, You know what, Will? I, I don't buy it. I don't buy that you're gay. Like I'm doing it for the parking spaces. <laughs> I said, thank you, that truth. Why would you say thank you? I said, why would you say stupid, ignorant shit? <laughs> she pushed on, she goes, here's the thing, well, you don't really read as gay. And to that, I said, the only thing I could say, I said, well, you've never seen me read. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh. As a gay man, people have a lot of questions. I think the most off-ass question is about the coming out experience because it's such a foreign experience to most people. They want to know. Um, they always think it's like a hard, tumultuous time in your life. And for me, it really wasn't. And here's the measure of how easy I had it. Uh, my mom was the first person I told. And uh, she goes, this is what she said. She goes, I know. <laughs> I was like, did my mom just call me a faggot? What's your name? <laughs> My father was the last person I told him. I was very nervous about it. And it was a late night conversation, and I put it off, and I put it off. And I finally tell him, I finally say the words that I need to say. And this is what he says verbatim, I swear to God. He goes, oh, thank God, I thought you were going to ask me for money. <laughs> Which was actually true, because being gay is super expensive. I don't know if you guys have It's a lifestyle I can't keep with. I've had a big year this year. I, uh, I got engaged to be married. <laughs> to a dude. To a dude. <laughs> We're in the midst of uh, planning our gay wedding. And uh, here's the thing, folks. I don't know the first thing about planning a regular wedding. Never mind a fucking fabulous one. <laughs> It's not that I live like a fabulous lifestyle. It's just not. But people have really have like high expectations for for gay weddings and and the whole process in general. They, they have a lot of questions about the engagement too. They're like, Will the most the most often asked question is, Will who asked who? And I get it. I understand the curiosity. But they're basically saying, Will, which one is the lady? <laughs> He asked me. Uh, <laughs> not always the lady, it's uh, 2012. <laughs> we're, uh, we're, we're, we're planning this, this wedding, and uh, I, I think people want to know about like a bachelor party. And uh, I, I would love to have a bachelor party, I think it's going to be great, amazing. But uh, I know this, I know people owe me shit in my life. <laughs> Well, I, I've been to many a bachelor party, and uh, I was recently the best man for my brother at his, his, his wedding, and uh, we did the typical bachelor party thing. We, uh, we went down to a casino, we went to a ladies strip club. I don't know if that's what you call it, but that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> my brother, he buys me uh, a lady lap dance. Again, I don't know if that's what you call it. <laughs> So if I do this lap dance, I have to oblige. She's paid for it, so I can't say no. And I have a moment of crisis before the stripper starts. And I'm like, do I tell her I'm gay? Because I don't want to feel bad that nothing is going to happen now. <laughs> so I tell her. She goes, well, thank you. Oh, well, it felt horrible that nothing was happening now. Um, she's starting in. She's in the instantly grinding crotch. She, I don't know. To, that's their go-to move. I, <laughs> so she's, she's doing her thing. She's dancing. And I'm commenting on her tattoos. We're talking about Downton Abbey. Things you do. <laughs> 
video starts, folks. <laughs> so she's doing the thing, she's grinding, and she turns to me, and I swear to God, she goes, I am. Um, I'm so sorry, I, I have to take my top off. It's protocol. <laughs> Is OSHA here doing it? What have you got to do? You have been paid. Handsome. Um, so she's, she's, she's dancing, she's doing her thing, she's grinding, and I, she was in the uh, reverse cowgirl position, and uh, she swings it into cowgirl position. So she's now facing me, and she goes, Oh my God, I feel so bad for you. And I was like, no, 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 that's not how this dynamic works. You don't feel bad for me, I feel bad for you. I saw a coworker of his vagina kiss that guy in the lips. You understand the difference, right? The vagina was the aggressor. It's like some horrible Sadie Hawkins Day dance. I choose you. Technically, she's the only one on society standards I can feel bad for. Go stripper, gay guy, gay guy in Bravo. That's how it works, guys. <laughs> That's how it works. I, um, this whole wedding is, people, you know, ask really silly things. And I, the, the question, there's some, like, underlying theme that, like, basically, they, they think one of us has to wear a dress. <laughs> And uh, to be truthful, I don't know which one of us is going to wear the dress. I figured it would be some kind of coin toss at the beginning of the wedding. Uh, the captains of our team, our dads meet in the middle. Just hoping one of us isn't the receiving team. <laughs> Not my son. <laughs> Not my son. My, uh, my boyfriend and I, we just moved in. I can see my, now my fiance. I call him my fiance. No big deal. <laughs> oh, we, ju we just moved in together. And uh, we moved to a, so, like an old fashioned area. It's like the mentality. They still put their trash cans up to mark their spaces. That kind of area. So we're standing on our front porch with our landlady. And uh, this, this old woman, a neighbor, she comes and she brings us flowers, which is a nice neighborly gesture. As she hands us the flowers, our landlady speaks up and goes, uh, Now you guys, uh, put those in a vase. You do have a vase, right? And this old woman leans in, I swear to God, and goes, Oh, I bet they have a lot of vases. <laughs> what the fuck is that shit? It's the most expensive thing anyone's ever said to me. So I spoke up right away, I was like, uh, No, listen, old bitch. <laughs> We don't have a lot of bases. We have a lot of vases. <laughs> 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 <laughs>